Hi, third grade. I miss you. Okay, magnets. You ready? First. All right. So last week, I sent you guys a video called Electronics May Confuse a Bird's Compass. And in the video, you had to read and you might have had to pause it because each slide was only like five seconds. So you had to pause and then read it. So you should reread that video or rewatch that video. But I'll also read it now. And I'll also put the link that you can find the um, website to this um, article in the description. So our focus question, <laughs> I know I usually have an anchor chart, but our focus question today is how do electromagnetic noises affect the migratory patterns of birds? Heavy duty. So we have some vocabulary that I want you to Google or look up in your dictionaries before I read it. Okay. Oh, it's backwards. I didn't think about that. <laughs> this is hard, you guys. It's hard being a teacher online. Okay. Well, the words, the first word is detect. Detect. Can you see it? I don't know. The second word is perturb. I'm so perturbed right now. The third word is migrate. I feel like it's backwards for you guys. Just listen. The fourth word is captive. And the last word is fidget. A lot of you do a lot of fidgeting in my class. And I like to um, have you fidget on the wiggle seats, but not on the bouncy balls. All right, so we did the vocabulary. You've Googled it. You've looked up the definition so that when I read it, you already know the meaning of the word. Or if you watch it on the other YouTube video and you're reading it for yourself, you know what the meaning of the word is. So I'm going to read it. You guys ready? Okay. El electronics may confuse a bird's compass. And the caption says, Robins get disoriented when surrounded by the electromagnetic noise given off by some ordinary electronic devices. Um, I'm sorry, that was the subheading. The caption of the picture, which is a robin bird, says the magnetic sense of European robins, like the one shown here, may get confused by the electromagnetic radiation given off by electronic devices. And the author is Stephen Orns. Um, and now I'm going to get started. Paragraph one. Birds know where to go when it's time to migrate. They get some of that superb sense of direction from their ability to detect Earth's magnetic field. That magnetic sense acts a bit like a compass used by human hikers. But the energy coming from some electronic devices can perturb as birds internal compass. And that might confuse a bird's sense of direction, according to a new study. Most electronic devices send out waves of energy called electromagnetic radiation. The levels are too low to harm people. Any given device only sends out a small amount, but some types of this radiation could pose a problem to birds. Even when held captive in a lab, birds know when it's time to migrate. They fidget in their cages. They try to face in the direction they would fly away, if outdoors. But the birds can't always line up correctly, notes Hendrik Mortensen. He's a biologist at the University of Oldenburg in Germany. He and his colleagues studied European robins. They took some birds outside the city of Oldenburg to a rural area with low, low electromagnetic noise. There, the birds had no problem figuring out which way to turn. But birds, cages, but birds caged in the city were confused. They were likely to face in the, wrong, in the correct direction only when they were shielded from electromagnetic radiation. Mortison and his colleagues reported their findings May 7th in Nature. Electro -equipment, electronic equipment can sometimes interfere with a, a magnetic compass. Scientists have long argued about whether such devices might also interfere with the biology of animals. That includes 
a bird's magnetic sense. Earlier studies have claimed to find such effects, but many scientists didn't accept those findings. Joseph Kirschvink has called for researchers to be more careful when studying the effects of electronic devices on birds' sense of direction. As biomagnetist, as a biomagnetist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, he studies animals' magnetic sense. He calls Mortison's team. He says Mortison's team has done better work than any previous team in probing how electronic noise might affect birds' magnetic compass. Ooh, this is a lot of big words, you guys. Ooh. As a result of this study, he told Science News, I think it needs to be considered seriously. He also said he hopes to see other scientists try to confirm the new findings by running similar tests. Mortison's experiments began back in 2004. He observed the cage robins did not face toward their migratory directions. For several years, he could not figure out why. Then, another researcher in his lab suggested they set up a shield called a Faraday cage. It consisted of grounded aluminum screens that blocked incoming electromagnetic radiation. When protected by the screening, birds in the lab at last faced in the direction they should migrate. Over the next few years, Mortison and his colleagues kept testing the idea that electro electromagnetic noise upsets a robin's sense of direction. They tried various ways to challenge it, yet their data always showed the same thing. The birds only faced the correct direction when the shield blocked out the electromagnetic radiation. Not all types of everyday radiation confuse the birds' sense of direction. Cell phones and power lines are often blamed for confusing birds, birds but the researchers reported that they had no effect in their tests. Mortison told Science News he was reluctant to start studying birds and electromagnetic radiation. After all, he knew that previous experiments that tested its effects on animals had been criticized as zany or sloppy. But he says he and his students worked hard to think of different ways to test their ideas. It's not the first time it's been claimed, he said of the link between compass confusion and electronics, but I hope it's the first time it holds up. So at the bottom, they give us some power words. Our first power word is biomagnetism, which is the scientific study of how living things interact with magnetic fields. Bio is life, magnetism. Compass, an instrument that uses magnetized substances to show the direction of magnetic north. Electromagnetic radiation, energy that travels as a wave, including forms of light. Electromagnetic radiation is typically classified by its wavelength. The spectrum of electromagnetic radiation ranges from radio waves to gamma rays. It also includes microwaves and invisible light. And then it has magnet. A material that usually contains iron and whose atoms are arranged so that they attract certain metals. So now I have some questions. The first question, I'll give you the answer, but not right away. Ugh, backwards. The question says, how do captive birds show that it is time for them to migrate? Do, 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 do. You should pause it and think about it if you have to. Let me ask it again. How do captive birds show that it is time for them to migrate. I wonder who's gonna get it first. You think Amina will get it? I do. Amina will probably get it. And Jayon. Jayon probably already knows. Okay, the answer is, they will fidget in their cages and try to face in the direction they would fly away. Who got it? Okay, the second question, and I'm not giving you the answer. Explain what electromagnetic radiation is and give an example. 
True or false, electromagnetic radiation from cell phones and power lines affect a bird's sense of direction. Remember, you have to cite your evidence, you guys. Next, how did Hendrik Mortison and his team prove that electromagnetic noise was affecting the migratory pattern of birds? If you need to uh, rewind it and watch it again and listen, do that. You could also rewind a little bit, write down the question, and then go back and listen again. I also suggest you go and watch the other video. All right, you guys. Text me if you need anything. I love you. I miss you. Be safe, okay? Bye.